Hey Drake fans, some of you may not be familiar with Toronto. So when Drake references Toronto in his music, chances are you can't envision it. So that's why I'm here. My name is Teddy Tong and I'll be your tour guide. I got real ones living past Kennedy Road. I got real ones with me everywhere that I go. Drake has made it known that he has major love for the East. And yep, here we are guys, this is Kennedy Road. And not much for me to show you here, but just know that there are real ones living here and Drake is paying homage to that. Actually, I got a real one to my right. Thanks, Tita. We are here at one of Drake's childhood spots in which one of his songs still here. He mentions, how did I finesse all from Jane and West End. And we're standing right here, guys. In terms of finesse, I don't know what he meant. I don't know if he was talking about the convenience store. I don't know if he was talking about jug milk. This is a little further from the heart of the city, a little more northern Toronto. If you really know Toronto, you know that the original name of the Rogers Center is the Sky Dome, in which Drake refers to as the Dome in the song, Do Not Disturb. The annual event that he is referring to is the OVO Fest, a mega concert that he hosts every year. And now that I think about it, having one this year would have been nice. Now let's head over to Young and Eglinton. Used to be at Silver City in the go. Used to be in lunchroom playing Domino. Do Not Disturb. And man, does that song hit different at night. He talks money, success, mental health, women, and Young and Eglinton Silver City, chain of movie theaters once called Silver City that were typically close to the Canadian bookstore Indigo. Oh, oh yeah, guys, by the way, that's where he sat. Right there, right on the edge. God, yeah, God, yeah. The Drake Hotel. Now we know Drake leaves his mark all over the city, but to have a hotel named after him, that's crazy. Wait, this is named after him, right? Do you know if this hotel is named after Drake, the rapper? It is? Um, no, I'm pretty sure it was around. It's not? Okay, okay, I was trying to meet him. He owns it. He owns, he's part owner of it though, right? Oh, he owns this? Yeah, he's part owner of this. Oh, so this has nothing to do with Drake. No, I've never seen him around here. <laughs> All fun and games. This hotel is not named after Drake. When it was founded in 2001, Drizzy was just a young boy starring in Degrassi. Speaking of Degrassi. In his song, Worst Behavior, Drake shouts out his acting days in Degrassi. And here we are, guys. This is where the show was filmed. Now, I almost pulled up at 5 a.m., but that's mad early. Drake, I rate the hustle, fam. Okay, well, it looks like we're here. Uh, Wikipedia is telling us that the name has changed, but this is where Drake dropped out to go pursue his career in Degrassi. Von Road Academy, stop playing. Looks like this is it. Kinda, sorta. I don't know. Dude staring at us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Von Road Academy star player. And they got a pool too? Drake, that's how you were living? Drake, I wonder if this is the pool that's bigger than Ye's. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see if this is open actually. I bet if I was Drake, this would be open, right? Oh, the same dude, the same dude. In his song, Zero to 100, Drake mentions that- Some rappers pay my bills, Which is a pretty big flex, to be honest, glorifying his role as a Raptors global ambassador. Now that made Drake's pockets heavy, while my pockets take e-transfer. Hey, Drizze! <laughs> I'm here, baby. Let me inside, man. It's cold, bro. In the song Hype, Drake mentions that the Six cold like Alaska. So we wanted to take you out on a snowy day to show you. And you guys can't feel this through the screen, but it's cold. Or as Toronto mans would say, it's brick, fam. So this is where Drake used to party, huh? I got fake ID. In the song Do Not Disturb, he says he went from Club Palazzo in the bridge to Club Live. To now behind me, guys, is Club Palazzo. So what are you doing? Bro, who are you, bro? Buddy, who am I? Bro, my uncle used to own Palazzo back in the day before I got skeefed, bro. Okay, I want to hack my button piece. So get off my steps, you mort. Get out of here, man. Okay, guys, those are my favorite Toronto references in Drake's lyrics. If I missed any, leave them in the comments down below. And let's hope that Drake wants me to do a part two in his mansion. <laughs> Please.